When I initially reviewed Rocket League on PlayStation 4 and PC in 2015, and Xbox One in 2016, I gave it an 8.0 for great. Here's what I said then. Whether it's online, casual, or ranked matches, no pressure exhibitions, split-screen local co-op with up to four players, or an intense 36-week season mode, Rocket League is all about getting into the next throttle-pounding match as fast as possible. Unfortunately, servers are still struggling, which means your mileage may vary day to day when it comes to online features. But the silver lining is the mostly formidable AI can make even offline matches interesting and tense. The execution of this simple idea is so strong and so engaging that it keeps bringing me back time and time again for just one more match. Now, nearly three years later, with all the additional updates, features, and ports, including the newly launched Nintendo Switch version, Psyonix's insane formula of rocket-powered cars playing sports has only gotten better with age. The great news is that the key ingredient in Rocket League hasn't changed a bit. The rules are simple. Two teams of cars drive really fast around over a dozen glossy, brightly colored arenas doing fancy tricks and smashing an endlessly ricocheting oversized ball into the goal. The satisfying heart of Rocket League very much lives in that arcadey feeling of fluid and unrestricted movement. But there's a golden layer of strategy and mechanical depth tucked inside the chaotic mashing of metal timing a somersault or barrel roll or bicycle kick to connect with the ball and send it sailing at a precise angle takes notable skill. Those basics, when coupled with expert team play and the mind-blowing booster-powered aerial maneuvers, solidify Rocket League as a game that's still just as easy to pick up, but with a skill ceiling that's hovering somewhere in low Earth orbit. At launch, the content around that gameplay felt a little bare bones. Since then, though, it's been substantially fleshed out with smart alternate modes that emphasize different skills and add variety. The Snow Day Hockey mode substitutes a dense, oversized puck for the bouncier soccer ball. Hoops is a basketball variant emphasizing aerial play. Drop Shot is a two-sided floor-breaking mode. And Rumble mode deals out power-ups that disrupt players and influence the ball. It's all a ton of fun. Of course, the competitive playlist for traditional 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and 4v4 shines as the great ladder system Rocket League was missing to bring some long-term goals to its pick-up-and-play ease, offering seasonal cosmetic rewards and bragging rights as you try to climb through the ranked tiers. And while the mechanical differences between the free cars and the large assortment of purchasable cars are noticeable, they're barely relevant. Meanwhile, the list of hundreds of tradable cosmetic items continues to grow. Yes, there are loot crates, but here they're used relatively inoffensively as rewards for completing online matches and can be opened with keys you can earn from limited time events if you don't want to buy them. Rocket League's sleek, neon-coated look varies by platform. On everything but Switch, it runs from the standard 1080p all the way up to 4K on PS4 Pro, PC, and soon the Xbox One X. Visually, you can't go wrong with any version, since Psyonix has made efforts to ensure that you're always getting 60 frames per second in one and two player game modes on most maps. But maintaining that frame rate comes at a price on the Switch, which runs a resolution of around 526p in handheld and 720p while docked. That shows a lot of rough, jagged lines and edges, and loses some visual elements in arenas. Plus, the small screen in handheld mode makes it difficult to be as precise, and that becomes much worse when trying to play local split screen on it. While I did notice some occasional rubber banding on the Switch, which could actually just be a symptom of having to use Wi-Fi in handheld mode, the majority of my online matches were smooth and consistent across all platforms. They have to be, because Rocket League allows cross-platform play between PS4 and PC, and between Xbox One, PC, and Switch. Kudos goes to Psyonix for pushing cross-play infrastructure, getting it running as well as it does, and setting an example for more games in the future. Rocket League's colorfully absurd Cars Playing Sports concept works so well because the energy of its arcadey gameplay meshes with its deep team-based strategy and variety of modes. It's exceedingly rare to find a multiplayer game that's welcoming and approachable for new players, and so intricate that the best players in the world can earn a living by mastering its depths. Rocket League is a golden example of turning a good idea into something truly amazing. For more on Rocket League, you can go behind the scenes with Rocket League design director Corey Davis in IGN's Expert Mode, or check out our original review. And for much more on Rocket League as it continues to roll out, keep it right here on IGN.